Hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be on Life of Fried Apples. If you have a book, go ahead and pull your book out so you can follow along. Remember, you can press pause at any time. We are going to be on page 95 and the chapter is chapter 14. The title is To the Great Woods. Fred was jogging to get away from the duck that didn't tell the truth. In a math book, that duck's lying might be written as duck does not equal the truth. Fred left the boat and started running around the lake. Fred liked running. It felt good. Sometimes he would hold his arms out like an airplane. Sometimes he would think about which sets he would present in his math classes tomorrow. A set with zero members, my, p my pet lizard. A set with one member, the sun. A set with two members, night and day. A set with three members, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A set with four members, north, east, south, west. He thought about drawing triangles inside of circles. That was easy. Then he thought of something much harder. Start with a triangle. Can you always draw a circle inside of it? If you start with a triangle whose sides are equal, it is easy. But what about drawing circles inside of other triangles? Years from now, after you study arithmetic, beginning algebra and advanced algebra, you will get to geometry. In geometry, you will learn the secret of drawing circles inside of any triangle. Fred headed around the lake. He was heading towards the great woods. He jogged and jogged. It was three o'clock when he came to the entrance to the great woods. Fred slowed to a walk as he entered the woods. There is a pretty path that goes through the woods. He could see the butterflies playing. They didn't make any noise as they flew. Butterflies does not equal noise. It was quiet. Fred could think about circles and triangles as he walked through the woods. He could think about big numbers such as 1000 and he could think about really small numbers such as zero. Fred liked to count. He started to count up to a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, but soon realized that it would take too long. He started again. This time he was counting by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, but even counting by fives would take too long. Fred thought of something new. He would count by hundreds. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, one thousand. Okay. That's it for today. Go ahead and pull out a pencil and a piece of paper. And remember, you can press pause at any time. It's your turn to play. Are you ready? Number one. Six and one add to seven. Six plus one equals seven. Name other pairs of numbers that add to seven. Number two. Butterflies don't make a lot of noise. Can you think of other animals that don't make a lot of noise? Number three. On your paper, draw a long, skinny triangle like this. Can you draw a circle inside of it that touches all three sides? Okay. Here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. And are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you tomorrow for chapter 15. Bye.